Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show, day six of Vlogmas. And we're still here in this winter wonderland. See, it's very pretty out. And I'm up, up in Adam. It's, uh, I got up at seven-ish, it's almost nine. And I'm quick making some kimchi, which is fermented cabbage. It's a staple in Korean homes. Korean. And, right? Yes, Korean. And I first have some garlic, ginger, and a little salt, and I'm going to blend this to make like a paste. I have the cabbage, which has already been salted and rinsed several times. And I'm going to blend this, add this to the cabbage, and then I'm going to add in the spicy Korean pepper flakes, which is the whole crux of the recipe. It looks like this. It's like their version of red pepper flakes, but this is really what you need to make the recipe. I might add in some like shaved carrots, change it up a little bit this time. I don't know. I've done it so many times and I've come to realize that it's very hard to fuck up. So this might be the lucky time I fuck up. We'll know in about three weeks. <laughs> okay, time to blend. Oh my God, I forgot the most important part. I also added sugar to this. You need to add some type of sugar to help it eats the salt, whatever. It helps the fermenting process. So I had cane sugar. Normally I add in um, maybe like a f two thirds of an apple and that's what I use, but we're trying a little different this time. You also want to make sure you have a glove because the red pepper flake and all the salt and stuff will get into your skin and it will burn. So ow, use a glove. And if it's got powder or latex or any type of scent, I would wash it first. This one is fine though. Okay, so it's all mixed together, and now I'm gonna put it in this clean mason jar. So then when you store it, I like put it in my basement, and a trick I learned from Mommy Tang is to make it so that the gas can escape but you don't keep opening it, letting oxygen in, you put the you put the jar lid on upside down so it's not airtight. Like so. Boom. And then put it in the basement and then in a few days you'll see it's starting to ferment, but I leave mine for like two weeks and then another week in the fridge and that's what I think tastes pretty good. Holla! Okay, and here's the finished product. I needed to go to, with a second mason jar, so I thought I'd add in some cauliflower because, fuck it, why not? Test out new veggies. To the basement you go. It's lunchtime. It's leaving, we gotta say bye. <laughs> That's a short lunch break, because Dan just, he's that, he's devoted. God, this hair. Oh, God, this hair. Come on, give me a little kiss. <laughs> Have a good day. So, just checking in, not a whole lot going on here, but um, I am taking a break because I'm gonna get my workout done. I'm just in such a good mood. Do you ever feel like when you feel really happy, well, I think a lot of people do this, but when you feel really happy, do you try to think of reasons why you shouldn't be? Like, I don't know, just like random shit where, you, where it's like you feel like you're not allowed to be happy or in a good mood. It's like, obviously that's stupid when you say it. It's like, of course everyone's allowed to be happy. I don't know, what is it? that is imposed upon us where it's like, oh, you're happy? Well, like, what about the starving people? But life is too short to not be happy, right? Which is what everyone always says, I guess. But I mean, not everyone's not happy all the time. That would be fucking annoying. But I just feel very happy today, very excited. I'm super excited. I have so much fun stuff coming up the next few weeks. I'm allowed to be in a good mood and I feel great. So take that. Jerk. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be sweaty. Yay, I did it! I'm eating the world's weirdest salad, guys. It's kimchi, blueberries, fake sausage, cucumber sprouts, farro, farro? Onion, I don't even know, man, but I'm starving. Vlogging, vlogging, there's nothing much to vlog. 
This is gonna be the most boring vlog of them all Cause there's nothing else to say Cause there's nothing to say Cause there's nothing to say I'm just making some pasta Dan's been eating the rotini raw He's the only person who likes raw pasta besides me Can't you see? We're walking back to accuse him Dan, I think you need to explain yourself. What have you been doing with this pasta? <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna break it. Get some. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> okay, these are the mac and peas and I made some like bacon tempeh crumbles to go on top. It is really good. And you know what the secret ingredient of the mac of the cheese sauce is? Because we didn't have a few things I normally have to make it. It's cashews, obvi, but it's carrots. I just chopped up some carrots, boiled them in the microwave for like four minutes, and then blended them with the usual suspects. And I think it's damn good. And it gives it this kind of cool craft, like box mac and cheese look. So I'm patting myself on the back for this meal. Way to go me. All right, guys, I think it's time to end probably what hopefully is the most boring vlogmas ever because if anything's more boring than this, I'm gonna start to question it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, it's done. We're over, we're finished. Nothing. I didn't talk about anything. You need to provide good content. I just talked about how I was in a good mood and how sometimes people feel like they're what not allowed to. I was in a good mood. It was. I'm getting my period. That's why everything you do is annoying me. And with that, we're gonna call it a night. Thanks for watching this episode of A Angel's Anything Show, episode six. And I'll see you tomorrow. And it's gonna be a lot better tomorrow because things are popping tomorrow. Oh yes, so things are popping. I am gonna move forward. I will continue. I will move forward with these. We're sideways, really. I could do. We'll take it offline. Okay. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. It's hard to be a lefty in a righty's world.